Hello friends, I am Rameshwar and today we will discuss about background for the Food Safety and Standard Act 2006. Friends, rather than the word background, we could call it as a milestones or certain chronological sequences for the implementation of Food Safety and Standard Act 2006. From the same perspective, I must say here that background or the milestones are there with the syllabus with consent to the technical officer, central food safety officer and assistant director with consent to the recruitment under Food Safety and Standard Authority of India that is FSSAR. So friends, usi ke anusar, aaj ka hamara jo session hai, it is typically for the background of the Food Safety Standard Act. So be with me till the last of the session. So now we begin about friends before moving ahead just take a look about the term food laws and regulations there are two words food laws and another is the regulations here food laws is a legislative act which prohibit misbranding adulteration for any article of food and with consent to the word regulations it means a return statement is there which specifies how the law is applicable or enforcement of different rules of the act. Apart from that, if we consider the basic objective, food laws and regulations, food laws and regulations are intended to ensure any article of food do not cause harm, illness or injury to the human being. Apart from that, the food should be wholesome and fit for the human consumption. It could protect the human life. Apart from that, we could also say that food laws establishes the right of consumers to save food and accurate and honest information. It aims to harmonize existing national requirement in order to ensure free movement of food and feed in the nation. It recognizes the commitment to its international obligations and will be developed and adopting taking international standards into considerations. Any article of food could not be adulterated one or misbranded one. Friends, now we move ahead towards the chronological sequences for the implementation of the act. It typically includes certain steps or we could call it as a milestone for the implementation of Food Safety and Standard Act 2006. It started from the year 1998 when Prime Minister Council on Trade and Industry appointed a group of persons from different agro and food industries in which they recommended one common Consent legislation with consent to the food and appointment of food regulatory authority for domestic as well as for the export purpose in the year 1998. In 2004, Joint Parliamentary Committee on Pesticide Residue recommended that there should be a need of collaboration of all the food laws under one single authority. In 2005, Standing Committee of Parliament on Agriculture in its 12th report desired that food laws should be presented. After that, extensive deliberations held between certain group of ministers of government of India and they proposed an integrated draft of the food laws with certain modifications. The integrated law is named as Food Safety and Standard Bill. In the month of July 2006, the bill passed by the both upper and lower house of the parliament. Then afterwards, it's got presidentary signatory on 23rd August 2006. Then the act named as Food Safety and Standard Act 2006 and it is notified on 24th August 2006 that is 34th of 2006 law. On September 2007, allocation of work for Food Safety and Standard Act towards Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare issued a notification on October 2007 with consent to the appointment of chairperson, food safety authority, different types of rules to implement the law. On August 2008, a notification is issued with consent to section number 990. It typically includes transfer of the central government employees towards the authority. Then on 5th September 2008, establishment of the Food Safety and Standard Authority of India under section number 4 of the Act. Then CEO that is Chief Executive Officer of the Authority that is Food Safety Standard Authority of India was appointed on September 2008. Then 
various sections are invoked on November 2008. It includes various sections related to Central Advisory Committee, Scientific Committee, Scientific Panel and other sections from section 16 to 18, section number 81 to 86, 92 and 93. Then in June 2009, section number 99 is notified one. On 31 July 2009, section number 36 to section number 47 are notified under the Act. Friends, here keep in mind one thing. Till the time of July 2010, all sections are notified under the Act except section number 22. Then rules are notified in May 2011 and different regulations are notified on August 2011. And here take a list of different regulations which are notified under the Act. Friends, I definitely say that the whole session is definitely helpful to you with the help of preparation for Central FSO, Technical Officer and for the post of Assistant Director also. I think definitely the session is helpful to you from that point also and if still you have any doubt, you could text me on the comment section or also you could suggest me the different types of difficulties so that I could make a video for the same to help you out. If it's your first time on my channel, then don't forget to click on like and subscribe button and hit on the bell icon. Thank you friends.